There's all sorts of little products out there that really can help you around any camp, any fishing trip, any hunting trip, or you know, picnic, tailgating, whatever. And one of them that we like to use is, is Arctic ice. You know, they come in several different, uh, basically, sizes as well as abilities to chill. What we do with them, literally out here at the camp, a lot of times, especially in turkey season, uh, even in early deer season, we're gonna have temperatures into the 80s and, and 90s, and it, it's just really difficult to keep ice uh, for long periods of time, even with the great super performance coolers like that we use. I mean, it's, it's just gonna melt. Everybody's getting water constantly, and that's gonna cause a lot of uh, melting of your ice. So, what we do is take all this Arctic ice and pack our cooler. We'll put a couple of them on the bottom and a couple of them on the side, and then maybe about eight or 10 pounds of ice in there. And that's gonna allow us to have cold water and beverages for about five to seven days, even under these incredibly uh, hot situations and conditions that we're often in. And, and you can see one of the key things that I like about it, well actually it might be tough to see, as, our, as the ice melts that we put in here, it actually refreezes onto the Arctic ice and it makes a, a block in here after it's been in a while. And that's a, a great key to keeping all your beverages cold because instead of all of it turning to water and running out, and we've all seen that when we open up the bottom of a, of a cooler, we're basically making our ice last longer. You know, we start talking about seasoning a cooler, people will probably roll their eyes. What does that mean? You know, you start thinking about seasoning meat. Well, literally we're seasoning a cooler right here. We've got a thin line of ice on the bottom and we've taken four of the Arctic ice bricks and we've laid them across there. You know, an Arctic ice comes in several different, uh, you've got the Alaskan series, the Tundra series, the Chillin' Brew. We put one of each in here right now just so you can see the differences of each one of them. Now that we've got everything set up in here, we know we're gonna basically double or triple the performance of this cooler already by, by really maximizing the cold chilling factors that we can put in here. So now we'll lay a few sodas in here and then we'll put just a little bit more ice uh, on here. And as that ice melts, because we all know ice is gonna melt, I mean, it's just inevitable that ice will go down and interact with that Arctic ice and it will actually refreeze. And just, it ensures that you're gonna have the coldest cooler you possibly can for any beverages that you're looking at, whether it's an adult beverage, whether it's Kool-Aid, whether it's a soda, or you're keeping food cold at a highly remote location for a long period of time. Now in some of the smaller situations, some of our smaller coolers, some of the bag backpacks that we use, uh, even when we're shipping meat home, we'll take this Arctic ice along with frozen meat or any other beverages, could be lunches, could be snacks or whatever, and maximize the coolness of just using the product like this with no ice. So whether you're kind of doing what we're doing in a big cooler here, or you've got a little small cooler where you're trying to keep a, a picnic lunch or a lunch going to work with you cold, Check out all the different sizes and styles of Arctic ice out there, and I promise you, you're gonna find something that's gonna benefit you, and you're gonna find out everything's gonna stay a whole lot cooler when you use Arctic ice.